Be of good cheer, everyone. It is I, Octi Angel, returns once again. Welcome you back to yet another episode of Splatoon 3's Hero Mode. Last time in Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, we took on, I believe it was called, wait, I don't quite remember. Oh, where are you? Splash the Block Party. This time, we're going to be taking on this level in particular right here. We're actually going to be introduced to a brand new enemy type. Octo Hoppers don't have a sense of humor and they hate puns. Watch for hop. Popsicles as you head towards the goal. We got the hero shot, a slosher, and we got some tetra duelies. Ooh, okay, let's go. My gosh, I cannot believe how far we are coming in this freaking series already. And there they are. Those are the brand new enemies. They're basically... Oh my gosh, I forgot how much ink they could actually throw at you. Oh, those guys are actually devastating. All right. But they're basically on a... What? Oh gosh, uh... What do you... A pogo stick. It's basically like a pogo stick in a way. Yeah, that thing. Except, um, they're called popsicles, I believe. And they are actually rather... Oh, hi... What? Where did you come from, buddy? Did not even see you down there. I'm not gonna lie, you actually scared the crap out of me right there, but... Yeah, these enemies are... A little annoying. Wait, what? Oh, that's just, uh, him dying up there. I was like, what the heck? Oh gosh, huh? It's... They're actually a little more threatening than the actual normal Octo Troopers because, well, they actually splash a lot of ink at you. Unlike these guys, where they just kind of fire at you. But those guys right there, they're all like, you know what? Nope, you're going to have a face full of ink, whether you like it or not. And you know what? Take that however you may take that. If you want to take that out of context, by all means, take that out of context. I don't even care at this point. Because, oh! You jerk. You are jump scare freaking material right now. Oh my goodness. We're supposed to be uh, supposed to be playing Splatoon here. Splatoon's not a horror game, but knowing, you know, freaking people, there there probably is a Splatoon horror game out there that a fan-made Splatoon horror game. Oh, uh oh, we're gonna be bombarded with just a bunch of these guys, aren't we? It can't just be those three right there. You got, um or maybe it, it nope, there's more. Oh, there's four of them. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I was expecting, actually, an, an entire, like, army of swords, but... Okay, that was pretty fun. Not too shabby. I'm sure you guys remember... Well, a while back, but I did say this a while back, because I'm actually recording this video, or these next few videos at least a week or two, if not longer, after I recorded the other video. So I recorded up to episode 42. Episode 42, I just uploaded to YouTube today. I actually uploaded both episode 41 and 42 today. Today being, what is today's date? I don't actually know today's date. I know it's August. August 16th, 2023. I uploaded episode 42 and 41. Not in that order, on you know, vice versa, but... They're not out right now. Episode 41 will be out later today. I just uploaded them and had them scheduled out. Because, well, I was actually procrastinating editing those two videos right there. Don't ask me why I was, I just was. It's just, you know, I enjoy recording, but sometimes it gets to the point where I feel like I don't even know what I'm talking about, and I feel like my voice is just caving in. Not really caving in, but just kind of giving out in a way. So I kind of just stop recording, and then I have no motivation at all to actually edit the videos because I want to do other stuff, I want to stream. And honestly, there have been moments where I have regretted starting up this series already. But you know what, I'm actually very happy with my progress. We are 43 episodes in, and honestly, this is probably going to be my first series to actually hit the 100 mark, and I'm super looking forward to that. I really hope that is the case. Because side order is going to be coming out pretty soon, and... Oh, crud. But yeah, I'm expecting to finish this series off at least in the 70s, if not 80s, and then side order, depending on how long that is, it might actually go well into the hundreds. How cool would it be if we could actually end this series off on episode 100? I doubt it, but how cool would that be? I mean, it would be really cool to actually end this series off on the 100th episode, kind of like how Trigger Conroy... Well, no, he didn't end his Xenoblade Chronicles series. Uh, his Xenoblade Chronicles 1 series, I should say. He didn't really end it off on episode 100. He just fought the final boss at, lo at level, at episode 100. 
And honestly, that is a very fitting... That, that's just like... Uh, it's very fitting is what I'm trying to say here. Try, fighting the final boss in a video game on the 100th episode of the Let's Play that you're doing of it. You know, I actually have thought about doing Xenoblade Chronicles as a Let's Play series, but majority, I just... Then again, I am doing this series, but then again, this series is basically, um, each episode is rather short, whereas Xenoblade Chronicles would, those episodes would be insanely long. I mean, I went at least 50, 52 episodes with Astral Chain, and a good majority of my Astral Chain videos were half an hour long. But I feel like Xenoblade Chronicles, some of the episodes will be at least 45 minutes to an hour long, especially with how long some of the cutscenes are. One of which I could actually name right off the top of my head, because it's in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's basically where everyone meets the architect, and oh my gosh, it's actually a 30-minute... I believe it's like a 30-minute cutscene, actually, of the architect just talking, telling about the creation of how he created the world, and all that. I don't really want to spoil too much, just in case there are Xenoblade Chronicles 2 fans here that have not beat the game yet, that are actually going to play the game at some point, or are currently playing the game right now, so I don't really want to spoil too much. All right, well, honestly, this level was not as difficult as I was expecting. So I think what I'm going to do is, with that level done, I think before we actually take on the boss of this world, we are going to do some explor exploration. I could do some exploration right now. I feel like we have a few more levels left. One, two... I believe we have two more levels and then the boss fight. So what level do we have here? I'm using a bemused... What? <laughs> Aim carefully and copy the... T oh no! Well... Next time on Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, we're going to be taking on this interesting level right here. Remember that Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Take care and stay fresh, everybody.